I have, uh, I am also a medical advisor at Baxter and I have reserved, uh, uh, got several uh, research grants. Uh, so I am going to present some data from, uh, of my own. Uh, I have uh, gathered large uh, cohorts, about 5,000 patients from about 10 years, and I have about 20,000 measurements, both on ma magnesium and on phosphate. Uh, the normal range for magnesium is, uh, in my material, 0.7 to 1.0, and for phosphate, 0.7 to 1.5. And we see that the mean value of magnesium is 0.99, and uh, the mean value of phosphate is 1.18, and we see also that uh, uh, the standard deviation in magnesium is much narrower, so uh, magnesium is more tightly controlled in the body compared to phosphate. Uh, some uh, basic clinical facts about magnesium hypomagnesemia. Too little in the iron at the wrong place in the body, too much out and uh, disabled control mechanisms. Uh, hypermagnesemia is much a problem of renal retention. We can find very much text in textbooks and articles about hypomagnesemia, hypermagnesemia, hypophosphatemia, and hyperphosphatemia. Actually, in my clinical practice of 20 years, I have actually never seen a certain symptom that I can put in relation to a disturbed phosphate value, and when I correct this value, the symptom go goes away. Uh, so, uh, uh, this uh, uh, electrolyte deviations are very much asymptomatic. Uh, if I then construct unadjusted mortality data in form of Kaplan-Meier curves, we see that uh, the black curve and the yellow curve from the hyper and the mixed group show significantly worse mortality values compared to the control patients and the hypo groups in uh, the magnesium cohort. And actually, we can see the same scenario in the phosphate cohort. So the hypo group does not differ from the control group in these large cohorts. Uh, then I have carried out a very large Cox, Cox equation which uh, uh, many covariates, uh, covariates that interfere with the ion biology and covariates that could independently increase mortality and then we see that the hypo groups do not show increased hazard ratios compared to the control groups, whereas the hyper groups show in both ions increased uh, hazard ratio. If I filter away the patient with SOFA score 3 and 4 uh, renal uh, 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 failure, I still have significant hazard ratios in the hyper groups. Uh, the mixed group in magnesium has a uh, higher hazard ratio, but the mixed group in phosphate does not show a, a higher hazard ratio in my material. Then uh, I tried to evaluate uh, what the nature of the ion disturbance actually is in the cohort. and. Uh, in the magnesium cohort, hypomagnesemia uh, is easily corrected, and actually it is very rare to have a persistent hypomagnesemia that lasts more than three days. We do correction measures all the time, and still the hypomagnesemia persists. This is a very rare case. Actually, only four patients in this large cohort showed this phenomenon. 
the, the same uh, pattern in the hypergroups, but if we go to the phosphate, we see that uh, the uh, deviations are much more uh, persistent uh, and uh, it is uh, more difficult to correct uh, the uh, deviations. Uh, then morbidity parameters, we see that uh, the hypomagnesemia groups do not actually show uh, altered comorbidity parameters con compared to controls, whereas both the hypergroup and the mixed group are much sicker. Uh, if we see the, uh, 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 the line of ventilator hours, we see that in the mixed group with a variable magnesium profile, we have about five times longer ventilation hours uh, compared to controls. And uh, in the phosphate group, we see that in the mixed group with a variable phosphate profile, we have actually 10 times longer ventilation, uh, ventilation times compared to normal. In my retrospective material, it is really difficult to calculate if this is an independent effect of the ion deviation or if this is only the fact that the patient with a mixed phosphate uh, profile, uh, uh, a variable phosphate profile, are more sick and therefore have uh, uh, longer ventilation times. But in all textbooks and uh, all data point to the uh, fact that uh, uh, both hypo and hyperphosphatemia can, for instance, make respiratory muscles more weak and so on. So, so this da data that I have here is in line with that, of course. Uh, then more uh, results from my large cohorts. We all know that uh, there is a scenario that if you have low potassium hypokalemia and concomitant hypomagnesemia, you cannot correct the potassium level before you correct the, the magnesium level. And in my material, I cannot see any correlation. I cannot see this phenomenon, uh, how the concentration samples and results are available in my cohort. We also know that hyperphosphatemia precipitates, phosphate precipitates with calcium and in many textbooks, it is said that hyper symptoms of hyperphosphatemia could come from concomitant hypocalcemia uh, because a high phosphate level could lower the calcium level by, by precipitation. In my uh, cohort, I cannot see this phenomenon either, and, but I have the ionized biologically active calcium level here, here on the x-axis. Uh, uh, so at least the body can maintain the ionized um, uh, uh, calcium level regardless what the phosphate level is. We have in previous works shown that uh, in dialysis fluids the most optimal uh, phosphate level seems to be between 1.0 and 1.2. And the most optimal magnesium level it's, is much less. It is between 0.5 and 0.6. When we have these concentrations in the dialysis fluids, uh, we uh, reach the best blood serum profiles in our pa patients during CRRT treatment. So, conclusions. Magnesium, tightly regulated in the body. We get much help from the body itself here. Hypo is short and easy to correct and seems to be harmless. Whether, uh, uh, but hyper and mixed are more dangerous and they are a mark of deterioration. Uh, deviations in phosphate are very common. Hypo can require multiple correction measures, but still seems relatively harmless. Hyper and mixed are more dangerous and also a mark of deterioration. 
uh, and uh, uh, both hyper and mixed in magnesium and in phosphate seems to exert independent negative effects. So the patient with the lowest phosphate level in my cohort had 0.04 millimol per liter. So how did it go for that patient? It went well, actually. Uh, so this very, very low concentration did not harm this patient. Thank you.